Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,181st edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, traders, traders, traders. Here we are. Let's get into this right away. One or two quick charts, maybe three. I just want to show you that the Omni has flipped back to green, wants to be a buyer of dips today on Friday, has a short-term target of 1923 to 1925, but likely can go higher. Certainly, we have a target there. That's for the E-mini S&P for trading on Friday. Now, as we know, future trading can be extremely risky and cause substantial financial loss. It's certainly not suitable for all trading accounts. Be very careful in these markets. Always place your stops. All right, so yesterday we called for the downside. It was absolutely unequivocally wrong. Absolutely wrong. So forget about yesterday's video. I must have been once again standing on my head when we called for the downside. Yesterday was wrong. Omni flips right back to a buyer and is absolutely looking for at least this today in the E-mini S&P. So we're looking at it daily. Then if we take this out to a weekly, you will see that it is absolutely broken out above the previous highs, has been in this channel for a very long time now, breaks out above the highs as illustrated by this yellow line. You can see we're out above previous highs and the market looks nice and strong here. So you gotta love the weekly. We just looked at the daily and there's no way you can't like what you're seeing there, at least for a few more points. We do take this one day at a time. So the daily and the weekly look great. I did show you something in last night's video and it was this trade as I showed you the Russell. And I said, what's worrying me about trading, this was for Thursday, is that we're not above Otatma and we came down to Otatma and it held and it went up, right? And then I showed you that after we got under Otatma, which is the Omni Trading Academy's proprietary moving average, this average, once we got under it, it hit it, it dropped, it hit it, it dropped, it hit it, and it should drop. So it hasn't. Omni flips back to green, and we're going to go with the green. This is the only wild card that's worrying me slightly. This is the only question mark, because barring that, as you can see, if we go back to where we were, this market looks great right here. The S&P looks great. You can basically remove this. This is not a barrier that's going to stop the market. This is just illustrating where the market seems to find some support and some resistance. This is not going to stop the market from wanting to go higher. So, you know, you can remove it once we get up there. We'll probably get above it and this becomes support. But we take this one day at a time, and on this day, Friday, we expect at least to get up here, and then we'll see what happens. Traders, I hope this will help you stay in tune with Trading Friday. This video is being filmed very, very early morning for Trading Friday. So do your homework and make sure that before we open, you decide whether you want to be a buyer or seller. Always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with keeping your emotions at bay is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is, Omniax, and come on, say it with me. Stops are in. Emotions are out. Traders, thank you so much, and I will see you at livewithoscar.com.